Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by two stars of a TV show, Cut in its Prime. They play Clary and Jace in the teen drama Shadowhunters. They're now back with Return to the Shadows podcast. We welcome Catherine McNamara and Dominic Sherwood. Thank you so much. Hello, hello. Friends, let's go beyond the mic. There are projects in our lives that just hit people a different way. Mm. No matter how short or long it may have lasted, it just means more to them. How did this series mean more? To both of you. Oh, I think I think it's the people that it brought into our lives. You know, it, it's it's interesting. We go through and, you know, if, if, as an actor, there's one thing you're always sure of is that the project is going to end eventually. And usually the story ends there. And, and you may take a few close friendships with it, but oftentimes you bump into people years later and that's about it. But there's something about Shadowhunters that from day one was lightning in a bottle. Our cast got along so well from day one. We had such a special crew that maintained for the majority of the production. And then the fandom came in and has created this incredible community and this incredible family that, you know, that for me, it was age 19 to age 23. It really shaped a lot of who I am as a person and as an artist and to be surrounded by such an amazing community on and off screen. It, it's been the biggest gift for my life. I think, look, I think, um, you know, it's so interesting telling a story that's based within this sort of semi-fantastical world. You know, they do a lot of things that don't uh, exist. Um, well, depending on what you believe, but you know, vampires and <laughs> Um, but the gift that we really got, and, you know, I, I, I mirror what Kat said as well, you know, the, there are people that I worked on, on that, sh- that worked with on that show that I will be in my life forever. But I think being able to hear uh, as an actor, as an artist, as a performer of any kind, really, to being able to hear from people who watch the show, how much it meant to them is really special. It's a really special thing to hear that, you know, I do this job because I love it. Um, I I love performing. I love creating these characters. And to hear that that character had an impact on someone else's life, someone's real life, um, is pretty amazing. Like I'm under no illusions of what I do for a living. You know, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a soldier. I'm not a, I'm not a firefighter. I'm not an EMT. Like I don't save lives every day. It's not what I do. But to hear that what one of my like silly little passions has made someone smile every now and then is really cool. And I love that. So for me, that, that had a huge impact on, on me moving forward. As you do this podcast, you share moments from behind the scenes that people may never would have known. Yeah, why was doing that so important for you? Well, I think, you know, it's it's been seven years since we made the first season of the show and, and having that time to sort of step away and go work on some other projects and then come back and relive this world and, and so many fond memories, but also to remember things and, and things that we may have, may have forgotten. I don't know. And watching some of the episodes back, it's been so long since I've seen them and kind of relived those scenes. It sort of triggers things at that, you know, may, may, we may not have been able to tell because of spoilers or something else at the time. And now we can share those stories and those little tidbits and things that we've taken from that and applied to other jobs since and people that we've met and other things that, you know, have become a part of our lives. But it really is this community of the shadow fam that, has created this sort of found family for all of us on and off screen, the cast, the crew, the fandom. And it, we just continuing to celebrate that community that really is all about love and acceptance moving forward is, is something that I'll always go back and do. Catherine McNamara and Dominic Sherwood from the return to the shadows podcast joins us beyond the mic and friends. It's time for the rocking eight, eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. Love that. Since we have two guests, we'll alternate the questions. There is no pressure. Great. Okay. Kat, how organized are you? Mm, depends on the, the, what kind of organized you want to talk about. If it, I can pack and travel, no problem. When it comes to my work, pretty organized. Don't look in my closet. <laughs> Dom, do you prefer movies with or without special effects? Oh, wow. Oh. That's, this is just this, the most impossible question. Um, special, there are two types of special effects. There's physical effects and CGI. Um, without CGI, without CGI, with practical effects, give me Tom Cruise all day long, baby. Give me Tom Cruise in a plane all day. <laughs> I, 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 like, there's just nothing that compares. The the man's yeah. insane, and you know that he's insane, and he's doing these insane things for the enjoyment of other people. I love that, and I love him, and I'll see everything he's ever in. If you've seen Maverick, don't tell me because I'm watching it next week. 
Concur. Kat, what song do you hate the most? Do I hate the most? Oh, uh, oh, oh. I wouldn't say I hate it, but, and I, I definitely don't hate it. I guess the only thing that I'm really thinking of right now is there's a song that we played on set that was also a part of the soundtrack um, during the finale. And it's it's the song that Clary and Jace dance to in the wedding at the end when we have the big speech. It still makes me cry. It still makes me cry like th- four years later. I can't listen to it without sobbing. It's it's a problem. Dom, what topping should not go on pizza? Pineapple. Next. No. Next. Ugh. Ah, controversy in the Rocky Nate. Kat, have you ever ridden a mechanical bull? Yes, I have because of this man right here. Yeah. And I'm 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 pretty damn good at it, I will say. Surprisingly. Dom, who was the last person you texted? Uh, I can look it up right now. I think it was my dad. I was just talking to my dad. Yeah, it was my dad. Aw, Dom, I say hi. Yeah. Kat, what's one word that describes Dom to a T? Ooh. (laughs) Right. Mm, uh, um, um is not a word. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I, okay, it's it's it's. I'm gonna hyphenate golden retriever because he is one of the most mischievous individuals I know, but has a heart of gold. Dom, what's one word that describes cat to a T? Uh, type A. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's not a word. The will allow it. It's not, not a word right. again. I'm gonna hyphenate it. Uh-huh. Dom, why was working with Kat so special on Shadowhunters, and how would you describe your friendship now? Kat works hard. Kat works really hard. Um, and I've I've worked with people who don't work as hard. I've worked with people who aren't as punctual, who don't learn everyone's name, who don't learn a bit about someone. And there's professionalism. That's one thing, you know, being on time, doing your job, whatever. Um, and then there's what Kat does, and Kat really does go above and beyond um, to make sure that that work is is done to the absolute best of anyone's ability. Yeah, it's a really admirable Thanks, trait, Tom. especially in this business. Thank you. It's time for one big question with the creators of the Return to the Shadows podcast, Catherine McNamara and Dominic Sherwood be on the mic. If you both had the opportunity to live in the Shadow Hunters world, would you, and why? <sighs> I mean, I'm tempted to say yes, just because I have fallen head over heels for the shadow world. And uh, there's so many places I want to go, so many people I want to meet. I can't say I would want the responsibility of being a shadow hunter, although it would probably be fun if I turned out I was born into it. You know, we could figure it out. But uh, I think I think to visit the world would be fun. What do you think, Tom? Absolutely not. You are out of your mind if you want to live in this world. Mental. Just my character in three seasons. I got possessed. I murdered like 120 different people. My dad turned out to be Darth Vader. I got murdered. I got tortured. You are out of your mind. There's no <laughs> world in the world living that. It's just insane. Like if you haven't watched the show and you're like, oh, look, it's just like cool people dancing around with swords. It looks great. If you watch the show, you're like, no, this is mental. Yeah. What do you have to tell your fans? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of figured that. You can hear them in the Return to the Shadows podcast wherever you find podcasts. Dom last texted his dad. Cat describes Dom as a golden retriever, <laughs> and only Cat would return to the Shadow Hunters world. We thank Catherine McNamara and Dominic Sherwood for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank, thank you, Sean. You. Thank you. Take care of yourself, bud. And that, my friends, is a Beyond the Mic shortcut. <laughs>